Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video. Today I'm working in my uh, journal where I use leftover paint and I smoosh it onto the page and then this is a journal that I often pull out and I really don't know what I want to do but I know I want to do something. So I'm starting off with these Jane Davenport uh, watercolour pens and I'm just adding some of that green onto the page and then using a water brush I'm just pulling it out. So this page only has leftover paint on, no gesso at all. This is a stencil from Art by Marlene and it's from her sophisticated range and it is called Mask 08. Um, it's a really pretty pattern, you'll see when it gets lifted up it leaves such a lovely pattern behind and I am using um, Ocean think it is yes ocean over the top of the background colors so then these are some collage papers also from art by Marlene and they are great when you um, want to add some images onto your page um, you get an instant impact with the colors so what I'm going to do is be stamping onto these image um, these collage papers and then cutting them out and sticking them on to the page these stamps are also from Art by Marlene, they're from her Essentials range and they're called Mix and Match Dotty Flowers. So I've just selected some and stuck them onto the um, acrylic block and using black archival ink I'm just stamping them onto this background. And then a fussy cutting them out. As you know I hate cutting out so I find this bit really tedious. <laughs> If only I could cut out as fast as I can when it's sped up, that would be great. Um, but anyway, you know, when you've got an idea and you want to do it, you've just got to crack on, haven't you? And sometimes you have to do things in life that you don't want to do, and that includes cutting out. I'll stop whinging now. So I'm cutting them out, and once I've got a good assortment of them, I then decide what I'm going to do next. And these collage papers are also great. I mean, you could, if you wanted to, just stick it straight in your journal and use it as a background, um, as a good starting point for work. And you could um, stencil onto it and just create your background as you would normally. So um, they're very versatile. And then popping them all back in place. I am a bit of a tidy freak. I have to keep things tidy and where they should be. Um, I have a very very small art room so it, it, it is really important to keep it tidy otherwise I think I would just go around the twist. So there we go. So those are all cut out and ready and then I'm just going to use these long stalk shapes and just stamp some of those onto the background at different heights and first of all <laughs> I'm using it as a border thought I was going to add the stalks there. No, apparently it's the border. So I'm just using black archival ink to do that. Then I'm going to stamp it on as some stalks at different heights, some close together, some a bit further apart. And then I'm going to arrange the little flowers that I've cut out in groups and at different heights on the end of the stalks that I've stamped on. And some of the colours that I'd cut out felt really didn't work because they didn't stand out well enough against the, the background that is quite bold. And then I'm using the white uh, Signo Uniball and I'm just adding some marks and doodling and just colouring in some of the patterns and highlighting some of them just to make them stand out a bit more on the flowers. Just giving them a little bit more interest.
this sort of thing actually becomes almost quite meditative, just like a you're just going with the flow and just making marks and colouring in bits wherever you feel like it. Um, I was quite pleased with how it looked in the end. So these rub-ons are also from Art by Marlene and they are some of my favourite when it comes to adding text and being quick because it's already made for you and you literally just rub them on and you've got writing on your page. So if you're not mega confident doing your own writing you could try and get hold of this on these letters. You can also get other ones, you can get massive sheets of letters uh, that you can use as rub-ons. I guess the only thing you have to be a little bit careful with as you can see here is when other bits of letters accidentally stick on where you don't want them to. Um, I did consider cutting out the letters that I wanted but I thought it would just get a bit too messy. So, um, And then when I ran out of letters uh, I just had a go at drawing them in myself, um, copying the style that was already there. So once that was done I just added a few dots onto the page and that was done. So a really lovely way to create a page using some leftover paint and lots of art by Marlene goodies. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and seeing this page take shape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!